Welcome everyone. We just uh, made a road trip up to the uh, up to the wood hole. <laughs> it's April 1st. And as you can see, there is no snow up here this year. A few small patches. But other than that, nothing. A little prick up here is running good. I just took a little walk around and uh, I just want to kind of show... I just want to, I just want to make a, a video. I came up here to cut today, but I don't know if I'll cut today. I think I'm going to spend some time walking around, looking at um, our playground for Tazapalooza for when we, for, for if we, if we make it up here. Nothing is ever a guarantee, right? But the plan is to come up here and uh, and uh, <clears throat> under somewhat of a controlled activity. I, I just want to show some of the things that 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 there is up here. There to me, to me, there's just about everything. There's uh, opportunity to. To fall some trees, there's opportunity to cut down trees, leaning trees, tension, compression, things, things of that, like that, limbing, um, reading, reading the compression and tension, and there's stuff for, for people of all levels of cutting, whether you're, whether you're just starting out, <coughs> or if you're, advanced an advanced cutter if you've been cutting a while um right there in the background there's there's a bigger stump right here that's a nice big stump and there are a few more other stumps as well and they're high stumps so if you if you've got a longer bar if you got a bigger saw and you want to i'll turn your i'll turn it around here like this stump here it's it's a good size stump. It would take all of a oh I don't know. That'd take all of a 32, possibly even a 36 inch bar. The video isn't doing it justice, but this one is a little bit smaller. 32 inch bar probably. But if you if you had a 32 inch bar or a 20 or all you got is a 28 inch bar or whatever and you want to practice on like face cuts this stump this stump here this stump here that one's really rotten we'll leave that one alone but there's more over there's some there one there two three four bigger stumps there's another stump up there that a, that, a, that people could practice um face cuts and not have to worry about and, and be able to focus on the face cut and and get the feel of their saw if they've never fallen a tree that big and they there's a possibility that they might sometime in their adventures we've we've walked up this creek before this is where i had to fix it this is just the tail end this is just a little bit of a runoff here the creek is further up that little drainage there but we we are our, our uh, transfer of the water to not go right down the trail after they fell this big tree a couple years ago. But I want to walk up here. <clears throat> I want to walk up here and uh, and show everybody kind of where what what I have in mind. Okay, let's. There we go. Now we can see a little bit more. You can see we've got we've got some leaners that's a dead tree so somebody wanted to tackle some of that things like that this is a little bit of a hillside here somebody you know these these things like this right here are good to practice on on uneven ground things are different right 
because gravity tries to pull just about everything down. And we've got a big log here that somebody fell and left. Here's another big stump right here. That's, that's high enough that, that people could practice on. Something had a something had a nice meal right here. See it? See the bones right there on that log? Some more up here on the stump. Yeah. But this is a pretty good sized log. <clears throat> right? And it's long. That's the small end that I just showed you. Here's another leaner. Dead. That's hung up. In a dead tree. And in a live tree. Okay. So. If somebody wanted to tackle something like that. We could. We could stop everything from being cut. So that person could focus on what was going on. I'm walking you up this big log. There's going to be some rot in it. Probably the outer two inches. Might be rotten. But other than that, like the big center, here's the big stump. Right? That's a good size stump. And there's the butt of it. So, so somebody with longer bar or even a shorter bar that wanted to test their chain or, or just got a big piece of wood, there it is right there. And like I said, there's stuff, there's stuff even down on the, on the, on the lower level, like down where I'm parked, that's on flat ground for somebody that's maybe not comfortable cutting up here on this, on this slope. Okay. Because this is a little flat right in here. It's not flat, flat, but it's flatter than this hillside. But look at all that down stuff to practice compression and tension. Jack strawed. Smaller stuff like this. Right? Nice cedar tree right there. All scuffed up by the bears. Or a cougar. And then a little bit bigger stuff. I mean like, like that rotten one right there. People that, that get into clearing their own property. They are going to come across things like this. Right? It's rotten. But there's still... There's still tension and compression in it because it's off the ground. It's bowed. You can see that it's bowed, right? Then like this. This bigger log here. This one here. This log here is long. Lots of, lots of different tension and compression in this one. Lots of smaller stuff. But it goes on and on and on. Let's and then I'll zoom in. I'm not gonna walk over there, but I'll zoom in and show you another one that's farther off. See this log laying like this right here? It's going like that way over there. That's another one. And these are all dead, and they're not gonna be used for they're not gonna be used for, for lumber. Going to the mill or anything like that. That's where this one broke off. This tree right here. It broke off right there. That stob, right? So, if somebody wanted to try some climbing or something like that, try out some climbing gear or whatever, that's a great one to do it on. It's only about six or eight feet high. Nothing to worry about, right? Put the spurs on, practice with the rope, practice getting the feel of, of the spurs. Things like that, you know. Or somebody could practice face cut, back cut, 
and fall it. Wedge it, right? So many opportunities in here for cutting. And like I said, all, all skill levels. There's smaller dead standing in here, like this we'll walk down this log here. There's another big stump right there. Another decent sized stump right there. A couple of them. So much to cut and so much to uh to do. Like this, like this smaller one right there. That small dead one with the crook in the top right there. Yeah. Somebody could fall that. We've got bigger ones to fall as well. We probably, you know, we probably won't fall a whole lot of trees. Being so there's so much to cut here. But I'm sure we will fall a couple trees. And there's some on steeper hillsides. There's some on flat ground. I, I hope this is, uh, I hope this video is doing well. I should probably keep it zoomed out so you can see more of it. There's that great big log over there again right i'm gonna walk and here's another here's another little stop right there that thing right there that would be perfect for somebody to uh to practice climbing on let me let me jump down there i'll pause it so it doesn't walk all right strap the spurs on the belt the rope and practice just right there right Sure, you won't get the feel of the heights of it, but you'll get the feel of what it's like. If so, if somebody wants to try it that's never had spurs on before, that might be interested in someday climbing or doing some of that stuff, perfect opportunity. And then, it, and then off of that flat right here where we're at, right up in here, then it drops back off, and we're right back down to that. To the butt log right there okay of that big one it's like endless yeah that's a little bit steeper i'm walking on where i'm walking is fairly flat so there's like i said there's opportunity for for everybody to get a chance, you know, to have a chance to cut and, uh, or just come sit by this little creek, right? I mean, it's not a, it's not a have to type thing. There's lots of, there's lots of dead stuff, a lot of dead stuff down and standing. Crooked, smaller, bigger, straighter. Back cut first stuff. Grand fur and dug fur is where we'll, that's what we'll be cutting up here. Might come across a piece of tamarack that's laying down dead. This is the steeper way in. It's a road, but it's steeper. But there's all kinds, like I said, there's all kinds of dead dead standing most of the stuff just dead standing in here is is grand fur and there are bigger trees that don't have any limbs for oh 20 feet some that don't have limbs 40 feet if a person wanted to try that go higher go higher see where their comfort levels at I'm I'm telling you there's a ton of stuff to, here to do so if somebody's got some climbing gear that they want to test out 
<coughs> or any of that kind of stuff. Any of it. If you, even if you just want to try a little top handle saw, see what it's, you know, just to see what it's like to go, to, just to put everything on. So you can, so when you're watching someone's videos of them climbing trees, you, you might have a, you know, you'll have a, you'll have a better understanding of, of what they're carrying on their belt and, and everywhere else. To, to go up a tree and do their job and also their their videoing equipment whether it's just a GoPro on their head or a drone or whatever they decide to use there's there's just so much here to do everybody I can't wait I cannot wait I'm walking right by the creek and if the creek is running up here during that time bring a gold pan <laughs> right <laughs> sun's trying to, sh trying to shine through in here here we'll turn it around and show you the creek it's pretty much just runoff but even in the summer it usually runs it usually runs to right down here and then it goes underground. So everything above this everything everything above this will should have water in it enough to uh, do a little gold panning if somebody wanted to do some of that. And like I said, if you just want to bring a lawn chair and sit and listen to chainsaws and axes striking wood and sit by the creek it's it's here it's here to do <laughs> nice wide spot down here another wide spot right up there through that brush if you watched my last video the the video of the other time that I came up here and just wandered around when it was real dry <laughs> I know I should be cutting something today, but I think this is I think this is important for for folks to know what 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 they're what they're coming into. Something is digging right here. See these scuff marks? Something was digging around in here, and it spreads out at that wide spot right there on the other side of that brush. It spreads out and it goes that way, and it goes this way. And then it just kind of goes in the ground, right here. It just kind of disappears. Just disappears right here. Goes in the ground, right there. And this this side over here goes in the ground right over here by this nice little grand fir. Right here. See there's shininess, that's water, and then nothing. It just goes into the ground. There's another big old nurse log laying here. I'd say this one's pretty rotten, but it's another big stump. There's another big stump right over there. Right there, that's a good sized stump. That's a good sized stump. Okay, now we're back down here in the flat. This is this this spot's this spot's like super flat. There's there's sticks and stuff on the ground on the forest floor, you know that you know that tri that'll trip you up, you know stuff like this right here, this little top of this tree, trip you up. Stuff to just cut out of the way. More smaller stuff to cut out of the way, but as you can see, it's it's flat right here. So we could spend some time down here as well. People can spend time here or go up on the steeper on the steeper hillside up to the other fairly flat spot. But there's plenty to cut down here too as far as tension and compression. I think that's super important. I think tension and compression 
and learning to read logs, you know, and sure, in a few hours, you, you can actually learn a lot in a few hours in a spot like this. Whether you're running the saw or whether you're watching or just walking up to the log without a chainsaw and judging it and, you know, and things like that. John, John Hudson, John Hudson, I, I, I saved this one for you, buddy. I saved this for you, John Hudson. Okay. For, for limbing. If somebody wants to do some limbing, this is, this is a prime suspect right here. It's not super long. It's not, it's not full length log. It's not tree length. It's, it's just, you know, cut off. But saved on purpose for this adventure that we call Tazapalooza. Okay? There's even some tension and compression in that to be cut. Okay? There's a nice big jack straw mess up there. If somebody wanted to tackle and dig into that. This right here is a test log. It's probably 20 inches. Yeah, it's 20 inches. As you can see, I've, I've used it as a test log, but there's lots more cuts to be made in that. Piles of sawdust to play in for the kids. <laughs> oh yeah. All that stuff over there on that hillside that you see laying down. That's all test wood. Stuff sticking up in the air, like over there. Like that one right there. So, so I would recommend, I would recommend um, hard hats in here. Because as you've seen on some of my videos, things like to hang up in the trees for two weeks, at least, or longer, or just fall over. So as far as personal protective equipment, PPE, safety gear, whatever you want to call it, I, I recommend it. I recommend it. It's not an absolute must because, well, yeah, you know. And we can just start right here with this, with this little jewel, this little piece of lodge pole that broke off and tipped over early, early this winter, right? <coughs> little things like this, little things like that right there. We'll walk over here. I know this is a longer video, but like I said earlier, I think it's, oh, what's, what's this? Oh, oh, we have a 390 and a 500i in the pickup today, huh? Yeah, that's what I should be running. But showing this to all of you is more important than me getting a load of firewood today. And I might still cut, you never know. But we got stuff like this, and this is still down here on the flatter, on the flatter ground, okay? This is before, right on the edge of where it starts to go up and get steeper right there, right here. Right here at this line, it starts to get steeper, okay? But there's stuff to cut down here. There's little tiny leaners. Small leaners right here. Two of them right there hung up in that tree. Right next to a real spindly grand fur. Things like that to cut. Things on the on a on a slight slope. Right? Another stump to cut. Another log to cut. On short bars, long bars, it don't matter what you got. Bring it. We'll find something for it to do, right? Another stump right there to carve on. Anybody wants to do any kind of, any kind of cool carvings, do it. It'll be fun. Smaller dead tree right here. Let's zoom in on that. This tree right here. Smaller dead one. It's not super tall. See the orange, see the orange red needles in it? Dead. Okay. All kinds of stuff. All flat ground out this way. 
It's all flat ground out that way. And then it gets steeper right here. Right here where I'm standing is flat, and then it goes to steeper ground right there. And there's the, the upper bench that I was looking at is right up here by this big stob right there. Somebody could practice their falling skills on that stob. Stobs are good to practice on. You don't have to worry about anything above you. You don't have to worry about the crown. You don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. You can just like, you know, focus on your, on your, on your face cuts. Practice face cuts. You can do that all day long in here. All day long. Put your gear on. Test gear. If you have any gear that needs tested, bring it. Please. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this uh, I hope this helps give give the folks an idea, give every everyone an idea, but especially the folks that uh, that will be making the journey to Tazapalooza. I hope it helps kind of show, kind of you know, so you're not flying in totally blind. You know what I mean? Kind of have an idea of 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 what of what our cutting day of Tazapalooza is going to be is going to be like and the possibilities and the different the different things different activities that that people will be able to uh join in on and and watch or participate whatever anybody chooses to do there will you know there's there's stuff to do for everybody kids can run around and pick up sticks and 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 you never know there might even be some huckleberries to pick you never know <laughs> like I said, it's it's pretty much endless here of uh of things to do. And I'm sure people will have other ideas as as uh these videos as these videos come out for preparation for Tazapalooza. Um yeah. And if somebody sees a piece of wood that they want that they want to cut and they want to and they want to take home with them or or take back down to Tazapalooza and try to make something out of it or or whatever we're it, we're all in we're all in i'm in for suggestions i'm in for uh yeah and if uh if somebody wants to see something else up here um if if i can find it i'll i'll i'll, I'll surely be glad to show it okay just one other thing one other one other small one other thing i talked a lot about about chainsaws and and this and that and whatever don't forget to bring your axes if you want to test an axe for for splitting or for chopping or like a like a bushcraft axe for for limb and stuff if you want to try that bring them this isn't all just about chainsaws i i, I apologize i apologize i just had it in my mind you know of, of land getting the lay of the land and uh and 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 different things for for cutting but there's so much to do with with uh with axes here as well if somebody wants to chop down a dead tree we won't do any we won't we're not cutting nothing live okay nothing nothing green we won't be cutting anything green so it'll be dead so it'll be harder wood because our wood is is normally harder when it's when it's dead and dry than it is when it's green right okay so don't forget your axes bring your axes to test there'll be other axes to be tested here i'll have a i'll have the casterman uh timber pilot prototype and I'll also have, I'll also have this, the the timber pilot. I'll also have this. So if somebody wants to handle that, handle them, whatever, swing them to 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 see what they're you know see what it's really all about and uh, check it out. If they're thinking about getting a, a timber pilot from Casterman, it'll be a great time to test one because I'll have I'll have two different styles. Okay, so like I said. Don't forget your axes, all right? We don't want to come in and we don't want to go into this half axe, right? <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody. I love you all. Take care and be safe. Tasman and the Tasmaniacs are rolling. Stay tuned.